everybody, it's Nina and welcome back to another video. In today's activity, I'm going to show you how to make a flower print on a piece of watercolor paper. First step of this activity is to go on a walk and gather some leaves and flowers. So let's go ahead and see what I found on the Arroyo Chamiso Trail earlier today. So like I was just saying earlier today, I took myself on a walk along the Arroyo Chamiso Trail here in Santa Fe, and for some reason I wore my Crocs, which wasn't the best idea. However, I was prepared with a small bag for picking just a few leaves and flowers that I found along my walk. Yellow is a big fall color here in Santa Fe, and I know it's going to show up in my flower prints a little bit later today. And I saw plenty of other signs of fall. Prickly pear fruits, grasses going brown and dry, and I'm wondering what is everybody's favorite thing about fall weather? What do you love to see this time of year? Back at my house, I have my flowers that I found on my walk and from my backyard. I grabbed some watercolor paper, a big heavy book, some paper towel, and a hammer. Ladies, don't hurt yourselves. The first thing I'm gonna do is put down my heavy book and on top of that, I'm gonna put my watercolor paper and then I'm gonna start arranging my flowers on top. Over that, I'm gonna place my paper towel and then I'm gonna start hammering the flowers into the paper like so. It doesn't actually take very long to make your print. This is me peeling back the little bits of flowers that stuck to my paper while I was doing the hammering. You're gonna wanna make sure that you use watercolor paper for this activity, not other kinds of paper. Just like watercolor paints, the flowers that I'm using actually have a lot of water inside of them, so watercolor paper is going to be the best at absorbing all of that pigment. Question for you all, why do you think flowers have pretty colors in the first place? Do you think that they are just there for us to look at, or do you think they might be there for something else? Bzz, bzz. And here are my finished flower prints. I wonder what colors your prints would be based off of where you live. I'm using one of the ones I made to write a letter to a friend who I miss. And I'm super excited to see what you all do with yours. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.